advertising some new motorbikes here at the mall. That one over there, you can see how big the frame is, but the engine is super small. There's no way that one's legal here. It looks like Donald Trump's lending his name to Chinese cars now. I'm in downtown Chongqing just for the night. Um, I'm going to be staying at the namesake hotel of Chongqing, the Chongqing International. It's an older hotel and one of the older parts of the city, but it's still rated a five star. I've been um, reading up and told that it's not quite a five star standards like everybody is used to here in China, but I'm always interested in the namesake hotels of a town. Uh, they supposedly represent that town. The cost is a little less than $50 a night, which is a good price considering the uh, reputation of this place. The hotel has got like a kind of a 1980s marble and gold trim with a little bit of teak wood in it. It's kind of throwback, it's dated, but it's still very nice and very clean and, and very classy too. So my room isn't ready yet, I'm about an hour early. On the second floor, the hotel has like a shopping arcade. It's got a restaurant, a couple of restaurants, Western, Japanese, and they've also got uh, clothing stores and jewelry stores and beautiful antique pottery. Very nice. It says Western restaurant, but everything is very Chinese style. In fact, our every dining table has a hot pot area and everyone's smoking. Again, not very big though. It's rather small compared to some of the larger hotels uh, in the newer parts of town. They even have a custom tailor in here. The rest of the arcade is empty. If you come here, check out this beautiful mural on the second floor of Zhongshan. I mean, it's gorgeous. Off the elevator, a dark, um, but yet very warm foyer. I was able to charm my way into an upgrade here. I paid for one of the smaller rooms and they gave me a king room, which is very nice. It's on a higher floor. They say it's non-smoking. However, when you've been in enough hotels, you know when someone's been smoking in a room and they try to ionize the room to make it smell a little bit more fresh. Unfortunately, it's got that ionized smell and there's no getting around it. This room is an older room. First of all, the bathroom is quite nicely decorated, I think. I mean, it's got a lot of space uh, and it's clean. That's the most important thing for me. But, but you can see it's got an old tub and an old shower. There's no mini bar, but there is a mini fridge. You got a, a little bit older flat screen TV, but again, I don't watch TV in China. And then you've got this gigantic bed. And it's not the hardest bed I've had in China, but it is a Chinese bed, so it is a little harder than what most Westerners would be used to. One thing that is missing is an iron and an ironing board. For a five-star hotel, it should have that. Again, stars ratings in China fluctuate. A lot of times, especially with these namesake hotels, they pay to have a five-star name and they really don't have five stars. So uh, if you're staying here for business, you might have a wrinkled suit. And here is my view. So here you got some brand new apartments that are still being built. They just took the cladding off a couple months ago. Uh, this hotel here is a shitty hotel that's you know, like $20 a night. I've never stayed there, but I don't want to either. Uh, that hotel right there, that's the Fuhua Diodian, and that's one of the other famous hotels in the area. Also, they consider it a five-star, but I've stayed there. It's not bad, but it's not great either. And then you can see across the way here, they've got a bridge over the river. I don't know if you can see it down there, but the river's here. And then the Zhongshan Eye is behind this building, and you've got the 
Junction Pagoda on top there. This shopping mall here on the other side of the river is uh, probably one of the nicer malls in town. They got an IMAX and it's pretty much the center of town near the pedestrian walking street. Now it's time to go explore the rest of the hotel a little bit. So they got all the normal amenities of a Chinese hotel. They got a swimming pool and foot massage. They don't have his KTD though. Um, and they have a rooftop garden that looks pretty interesting. Let me go check that out. You know, the swimming pool looks pretty small. Doesn't look like it's hardly ever used. Although it is springtime, it's not quite warm enough to go for a dip every night. No hot tub either. I, you gotta have a hot tub. This is the fourth floor rooftop garden. They've got some private dining rooms up here as well. It's actually quite lovely. Very serene. In all, I'm not that impressed. I mean, it's okay. And for the price that you pay, it's not that bad. A little less than $50 a night. You get an older hotel that's comfortable and clean with great service. I mean, check-in was wonderful. Uh, everyone speaks English here. Well, some people do. Uh, enough for you to get by. The amenities are lacking. They're a little bit old. Uh, and uh, it's not going to be the uh, Crown Plaza or the Hilton. However, you're going to be paying three times as much money to stay at those hotels. And I've stayed at them and they're nice and they are worth the money, especially here in China. But if you're just down for one night, something like this might suit you. But uh, I wouldn't come here to impress anybody, if you know what I mean.